This is Fixer Company Plumbing, and we're on a tunnel job. This is our information. And I wanted to show you what we got going on here. We've got about a 55 foot tunnel underneath this house. There's the dirt pile. And you know, I also want to show you all the rusty cast iron that we that came out. That's the old cast iron that came out. This is where the two inch tied into the three inch. And it busted out real easy there at the bottom there. Um, a lot of this pipe, the whole bottom of it was gone. It was just in real bad shape and uh, we replaced it. The, uh, the, it was mainly the line that goes from the washing machine drain. This is the hole <laughs> underneath the slab. Uh, ma mainly we replaced the, the, line, the drain lines going From the washing machine drain and the kitchen drain. This is right here is where it goes through the slab which we had a heck of a time jackhammering that because that that exterior beam is extremely hard. <coughs> so jackhammer through there that's for the kitchen drain and then we've got our hangers a lot of this didn't need too many hangers because it's going through the concrete and also it's so close to the to the slab that there's not really going to be any dirt on top of it we had a heck of a time getting a hole through here for our pipe. That's where the old cast iron was going through and we were kind of forced to go in the same place because of uh, we had in order to get the right fall on our pipe. And then right here is where we got our our uh, tie-in for the for the uh, washing machine drain. And that's where it branches off. <clears throat> I've had some comments about people liking my little rope light system, which <clears throat> it really works better if you can hang it because it messes the lights up if you walk on them. I mean, if you're working on top of them, it messes the lights up. But anyways, this is what I was trying to show you. And then here, Looks like they're probably going to have a, a future slab leak um, with that copper going through the uh, the concrete like it is. There's a chance that they could end up having a slab leak in the future. But again, this is where we had to go through the concrete, real hard concrete to be able to put our pipe through it. And that's where the old cast iron was. And there's the other spot. And I mean, that was a booger to get through that through those beams enough to put new pipe through it. That's a little bit of the concrete we busted out.
That right there was a heck of a spot because it was in our tunnel. Well, you can't really tell here, but it was really a weird angle to, to work at. That really there is just a strap to kind of hold it while we're doing our work. But there's no point in taking it out. This concrete is holding everything up. So in there, like I say, there's it's so close to that that concrete, to the slab. There's really no need to put uh, too many hangers on this one, because it's only going to be sand going on top of it. This sand right here, is just you know, it'll never. The sand will never go back as hard as it was before it's compacted. The, uh, we always recommend that the homeowners uh, have a foundation repair company come in before, during, and after our, our jobs. You know, have, it's good to have the house already leveled foundation already secured where it's going to stay before we ever get started. That way it makes it easy for us to get the right fall on what we're going to do because we know it ain't going to change anymore. If you try to fix your your pipes before you level the foundation, kind of, it's not the it's not the best situation. Sometimes, sometimes you have to do it that way because of financial issues or for what other whatever other reasons. But it's not really recommended to do it that way. See, this is where we tie it in to the three inch. Right there. Look like they got another line going somewhere. I think that's going to a bathroom sink, but they weren't having any problems with that, so we left it alone. The main the main problem was the one with going from the kitchen because it had the um, it had the. Uh, Lost my train of thought. Oh, it's got all the, the kitchen drains. They rot out faster because of all the detergent. The detergent seems to uh, cause the um, the kitchen drain lines in the in the uh, washing machine drain lines to uh, to rot out faster. Anyways, I hope you like my little video. And I'll show you what it looks like coming back. I tell you what, I'd I'd like to have one of these underneath my house. Little little bunker like for a storm shelter or something <laughs> concreted in all right well y'all have a nice day and if y'all have any uh any plumbing issues uh Please contact us. Uh, the number's on the side of the truck at the beginning of the video, 214-534-1468. We're uh, based in Mesquite, Texas. We work in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. This job is actually in Fort Worth. Um, 
if y'all have any uh, tunnel work or plumbing work that you need done, just give us a call.